All right, I got to ask you this question. I'm going to force some version of an answer. A royal or a, you know, a DECA billionaire comes to you and says, Ben, I, I know you say it's impossible, but I want to I want to create a dinosaur. How do you do it? Now, I'm not saying you are doing it, not saying you plan to do it, but sort of theoretically. Yeah, so so there is no dino DNA, right? And so um, just to kind of, you know, give a shout out to the haters. Um, Jurassic Park is not a movie about dinosaurs. It's a movie about genetically modified birds with dinosaur and frog alleles. Or it's a movie about dinosaurs, depending on how you want to classify <laughs> our dire wolves. Um, but uh, so, so there is no dino DNA. If I were to, if I were to try to go build a, uh, to, to, I don't, I don't, I don't think today you a can. simulacrum of a. I don't, I don't think that you could bring back a dinosaur. I think using synthetic biology, and probably not today, but probably ten years from now, eight years from now, some period in time, you could do an ancestral state reconstruction of of uh what we know of the tree um and and i think that of the phylogenetic tree and i think that you could do a giant sequencing project to uh, and i think there's enough that is conserved across multiple clades of birds and reptiles that you would probably be able to go down to make like an archosaur which is probably the, at the very base of the tree it's like the basal animal um before it kind of stuff starts to get weird and split um and um yeah i would I, I think that you could do that and then you would be engineering for phenotypes right so i think you'd be looking at you know looking to, to drive certain phenotypes and i think a lot of those at least we understand computationally at this point what those protein coding regions are so um i don't even know if it'd be less of a dinosaur than a dinosaur existed uh, and, 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 and so that's, that's probably where I would start, but I think it's a huge project. I think it's a, I think it's a lot of money. I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a hundred million dollar project. I think it's quite a lot more. Yeah. I, I did. Is there any possibility that we can harvest DNA of a dinosaur and find that it is preserved in some place, some way, somehow? The problem is, is DNA degradation and fossilization. And, and you have to remember when the dinosaurs perish, it was due to extreme heat. And so right. there is dinosaur DNA in the form of birds, right? Birds that exist in their dinosaurs. Uh, um, and so, but I do think that, I, I, I don't think you'll ever get to the point that you will have dinosaur, uh, true dinosaur DNA. There's people like uh, Dr. Kenneth Lacavara, who's arguably the number one paleontologist in the world, who's, who discovered the four biggest dinosaurs, including Dreadnoughtus, which is the biggest dinosaur. Um, and uh, he, he called me last week when, we were, when everyone was debating all this stuff. Uh, well, not debating all this stuff. They were only debating the name. Uh, <laughs> and, he, uh, and he said he had the same problem with Dreadnoughtus. He said that, he said that it, it was the biggest dinosaur, and he did it based on kilograms and all this stuff. And, you know, a lot of dinosaurs, they find, like, a bone, and they're like, it looked like this. But this one, it was a nearly, you can Google, and I don't know what percent, but it was like 40 or 60. It's very, very complete for a large dinosaur. And um, and he found it in Argentina, a super cool story. And um, he had people that called him and he said it was so annoying because they wanted to argue, not like US versus metric system, but they, he want, they wanted to come up with, they, with a measure, with a dinosaur mass unit. <laughs> and, and so he got into this big debate when it came, the, the, one, of the, one of the biggest dinosaur discoveries ever, and it was, a, and, and a large part of it was because he, he I think he said it was like 60 uh, tons or something like that. And they, people wanted to debate a, a metric that everyone could agree on of dinosaur mass, which is just, which is, which is ludicrously I mean, absurd, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but, but Kenneth, one of the things he's done that's pretty cool is he's demineralized dinosaur bone, where he can, we can get those amino acids. And what his long-term goal is, it'd be cool if you could pick up a dinosaur bone. Um, and this is his work, not ours. We are not doing this. I just want to make sure I give him full credit. It'd be cool if you could pick up a dinosaur bone and be, able to be like, and you know you found it in, you know, Montana or North Dakota. So you could say, is this a T-Rex bone? Is this a Triceratops? And let's say that you didn't have like the, 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 the dating of the geological formations around it. 
you could demineralize a piece of the bone and based on the amino acids, say, oh, this is a triceratops bone, hmm. which is kind of cool. So, but, hmm. but, but those are, those are like single, I mean, those are like, I mean, you can't, you can't glean any data on how to build the animal out of that.